Hey guys, Barbara here, and I have Joe with me today. Say hi, Joe. Hi, folks. How you doing? This is going to be an unboxing, and this is an exciting unboxing for me because this product was sponsored by the viewers. Yes, you're going to see your name scrolling. You're going to see it at the end, and you're going to see it in the description because I am so grateful for this awesome, amazing product. So Joe's going to get it right now and go get it. I didn't want to show it at the opening. Joe, will be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> you guys, let me make sure no address is showing. It came. It came. Hold on. I'm going to pull this off. Looks we're getting ready to get this stuff off the back, so I'll show you what it looks like. I just want to show you one quick thing why I picked this machine besides all the other things it can do. It says it can sew through anything. Come on in closer, Josh. This right here. It has a see-through covering for the bobbin. So I told Joe, this is a joke, you guys. I told Joe, Joe, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Now I don't have to hear him go, ah! Oh. Man, I run out of bobbin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to be back in a few days after Joe finds his way around this machine, and we're going to start using it, show you what we're making, compare it to this one, and um, we're going to be thanking our sponsors some more. It's been more than a little bit more than 24 hours. I'm getting tortured. They keep torturing me every minute. <laughs> Let's go, folks. <laughs> He's in a mood today. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a little bit more than 24 hours since we received an Unbox the Sewing Machine, and now it's time to do a review. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison review of this singer and this singer. And I know you guys might say, Barbara, you're not being fair. This is a lightweight singer sewing machine. This is a heavy duty. How can you even really compare them? But I'm telling you, this is going to be kind of like comparing apples and oranges rather than apples and kale. You know, we're still in the same fruit family. So let's begin at the beginning. So I decided that I wanted to do merchandise for my cooking channel. I didn't want to do the usual hoodie, t-shirts, mugs, stuff like that. I wanted to make the items because I can control the cost. So I decided that I'm going to make aprons, even though Joe and I didn't know anything about sewing. We went to see his mom and sister because, you know, my mom passed away. She was a brilliant seamstress, but she passed away back in 2016, so I couldn't go to her. Joe's sister showed me how to cut and assemble the aprons. And she reminded Joe that Joe knew how to sew because he used to help his mom when he was 15. But Joe only did like straight pieces. He would get like something straight and just sew. Okay, here, mom. Like they call it piecework in the lease, right? So we came back and we started to make these wonderful aprons. 50 aprons since the middle of November, right, Joe? Something like that. Yeah, the aprons are reversible. So it's just like getting two pieces of fabric and sewing it together. And this machine handled that just fine. No, we ran into problems when we started to make these things, organizers and handbags. So my dad gave us that machine from my mom. This is an industrial machine. I'll, you know, show you some B-roll to show you what that looks like. It's the brand is Kunso. It can sew through anything. It's an amazing machine. It is so fast and it is so strong. The problem is we can't sew the opening of these organizers or these handbags or even the other messenger type handbags that I have because this machine is built into a desk, right Joe? And you can't take apart like a utility tray and put it like this. Let me see. I have so many things in front of me right now. Make sure I don't have to get up and get any of the parts to show you. So can you guys see this? See? You can take that off and put that put the bag on for me, Joe, please. So Joe would put the bag in here and then just sew around and around the mouth. So the machine started to act up and it kind of froze up on us and Joe had to take it apart and fix it. Now it still works, but when he called his mom to ask her, well, why is the machine acting like this? The stitches are overlapping each other. The thread on the bobbin part's not picking up, so it's not sewing the two items together. The mom 
She didn't have no good answer. She's like, just leave it alone for a while and then it'll correct itself. That's what mine does. I'm like, that doesn't fly with me. I, I, I believe in science. I need to know why this thing isn't working. <laughs> and so Joe, like I said, he took it apart. It's working now. But then Joe's mom called again and said, you know what? This is a lightweight machine. It's made mainly for alterations and maybe to sew through thin fabric and stuff. Sew up some curtains, not even drapes, but some thin curtains, stuff like that. So it only has about 10 different stitches you can do. It came with a little rinky-dink buttonhole thing that Joe couldn't even use to make the buttonholes that we want to make for these messenger bags. So he kind of like, you know, rigged it himself. I called it, he MacGyvered it. And um, for the most part, what would you say about the sewing machine? Pretty good overall. It's a pretty good machine if you want to do what? Light stuff. Light stuff or, or thin things, right? right? Thin things. You can't do, okay, let me show you about something about these organizers. See, we have to put interfacer on the back part of the fabric so it gets stiff, so it, the thing can stand up like this. See how it stands up on its own? And Joe says when you get over like these seams, because it's two seams plus two sets of interfacer, it breaks the needle. You can't lift the presser foot up too You're high because you have to put it low so it will pick up the thread and then you can't get the thing under. Plus, you know what? A major difference was right in between here, right here, there's no space to work. So it was really, really becoming a bother to use this machine. This, by the way, is the Singer 2263 sewing machine. So I decided, well, we both decided we needed a heavy-duty sewing machine. So I thought they were going to be expensive. I was looking for them to be four or five hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So then we went to Amazon and we checked it out, and we saw one that was like this. It wasn't quite this one, and Joe really wanted one. It was 189 bucks. This was also 189 bucks at some point. So I woke up like when last week, Thursday morning or something. Mm -hmm. And Amazon sent me an email saying that this was being featured, so the price dropped to 155, plus the tax it came to 167. So I went to the viewers and I offered an opportunity for you guys to sew into my life to buy this sewing machine. And right away, a few of you came on. I have a list somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna call everybody's name in a little bit. And you guys were so generous. Now, if you don't hear me call your name right now, is because you probably gave after we made this video because I'm gonna go live at my cooking channel later today. This is Tuesday, um, February the 6th, and I'm gonna reveal that we got the sewing machine. And uh, by then, some, some more people maybe would have donated. And if you did, you're gonna see your name scrolling on the bottom and at the end, and that's when I'll release the video tomorrow. I'm just gonna give one more opportunity later for anybody who wanted to get in on this blessing, okay? Because whatever you do for me, God will do for you, especially if you believe in God. Whatever you do for, even if you don't believe in God and you believe that the universe give the universe gives or stuff, it'll come back to you. Okay, so let's run through the names uh, pretty quickly here. Chitra, thank you so much for your donation. Now, for the people who donated twenty five dollars or more, they would receive a gift from me, and the gift was an apron. Chitra told me to sell the apron so that she could give twice. So she gave money and she left me with the apron so that I could sell it because Chitra already bought an apron for me. So thank you, honey. You are so blessed. Expect your blessing to come back to you. Donna and Marie in Australia, they're my um, steady donors and Marie already donated for the month of February. So I used her February donation to put towards the sewing machine because I really wanted Donna Marie's name to be on this. Don is Marie's husband. Thank you guys so much. Natalie, Joe's niece, she donated and she just says donation auntie and so i'm assuming she wanted the donation to good wars the sewing machine so that's where i put it okay um liz liz is one of my all-time or well, long-time benefactors liz donated some money towards the sewing machine and her note was i hope you can get the sewing machine pretty quickly and then marie uh um fernand is fernandez or hernandez i'm gonna have to check marie uh, i think it's fernandez marie fernandez gave donation towards the sewing machine. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna correct it right down here, okay? I'm so glad that I waited until after my Tuesday night live event before wrapping up this video, because just like I thought, some more people contributed to the sewing machine. So let me read off my list of sponsors. Chitra, Donna Marie, Natalie, Liz, Marie, Lucy, Julie, and Nikia. You guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Whatever you give to me, I pray a thousandfold return on your investment into my life. Let me tell you guys a story really quickly about Jory. He did not want me to give him any credit for his participation in the sewing machine, but 
Um, I didn't know that he secretly bought the sewing machine for me on Friday and it got delivered Monday morning and he did not want to take any of the monies that you guys donated towards the sewing machine so I had to really work hard to convince him to at least uh, take the Amazon allowance because I had some people donated through Amazon allowance and so he took that little bit of money and bought himself a hoodie or something and he goes no mom it's a gift for you so um, we collected well above you know what we needed for the sewing machine because Jordan wouldn't take the money so I donated $50 towards Jada and Colin's photo shoot mm -hmm. for the um, record that's coming out on the, on the 14th. So you guys did a double whammy with your donations. Not only did you sew into us with the sewing machine, but you also sewed into Jada's career. And for that, I know you're going to receive a double blessing from the Lord, okay? So let's um, summarize really quickly here, Joe. We're not comparing these machines to the console because that's totally different. different. It's industrial. But I really feel like um, if you are looking to buy your first sewing machine and you don't know anything about sewing, like we didn't know anything about sewing, you could get this, right? This was about 130, 120, 130? Yeah. Uh huh. But Go ahead. You can get that, but it's better for you to put a little bit more and get this. I know I got this for a long time. All right, so that's Joe's opinion. Even if it's your first little machine, Mommy bought this for Jada because she kind of figured maybe Jada wouldn't do anything with it. But then it went into action and it's been a blessing. No, we're going to cover it up and put it, you know, in a closet for Jada to take down and use whenever she feels like it. Or she may just sit down and use this because Jada does a lot of alterations to her clothing. So let me tell you a little bit about this sewing machine really quickly. It's the 4432. This one um, is the 20, this one is the 2263. Mm -hmm. So like Joe just said, it would be much better. I mean, what, but maybe suppose they only have like the 120 bucks. They don't want to put the extra to make 167. Then I wouldn't sneeze at this either, if, especially if you only want to alterate. Right? Okay, you could buy it for like $98, something like that. Sometimes it's on sale. Okay, so like $100 versus 167 So let me tell you what this does. It's a heavy-duty machine. Um, they said it's a true workhorse with heavy-duty metal interior frame, stainless steel bed plate, extra high mm -hmm. sewing speed, and powerful motor. The sewing machine can sew through just about anything. It's automatic needle threader sewing machine. Do you Have you figured out how to, to use that yet, to string mm -hmm. the needle automatically? Not yet, but you push it down like this. Okay. He will learn. It's only been a little bit more than 24 hours, okay? I, I, the reason that I'm rushing this review, you guys, is because I really want to reveal to my viewers that you guys, that this came through, okay? Um, it has about, what, 32 uh, different stitches, and it says, with a maximum sewing speed of 1,100 stitches per minute. Wow! You know, we used to do bottle printing for a living, and our machines used to be able to do 66 bottles a minute, right? Mm -hmm. And that was fast. Can you imagine 1,100 uh, stitches per minute? And it comes with the accessories. It has for the buttonhole and the real buttonhole. Can you show that one, Joe? The real buttonhole thing? Let me put this aside. Mm -hmm. And it has two different presser foots. Just put Did I say that right? Presser foot? Pressure. Presser. Right? Press pressure. Pressure. Pressure foot. Well, you, okay, you so this is the you, utility tray. You don't have to pull this out to open it. Let me make sure they're seen. Let me see. Come pull it a little bit. Uh -huh. So you just open this little flap right here to get into this. And this is the real buttonhole thing, not this thing that came here. Let me see. See? Compare. This one really couldn't do anything to make buttonholes. So put that one back there. And what is it? Come with different pressure feet? Yeah, pressure. This one, let's see. That. And keep in mind that Barbara doesn't really know sewing terms. <laughs> oh, this, this, yeah. This is a pressure foot, but I don't mm -hmm. that for you I got this there. Well, the, the thing. All right, honey, one second. The thing that I like the most about that Barbara personally likes about the sewing machine, now keep in mind I'm not sewing on it. Joe's the one that sews. The thing that I like about it is the see-through bobbin door thingy. Like I told you guys at the opening of this video, we don't have to hear Joe scream anymore about the fact that he ran out of bobbin, okay? Now, what else? Can you tell me what you like about it compared to this, like the stringing of the machine, the thread, the way the thread sits, anything like that? Any technical things? So you get a better stitch. You, okay, you get a better stitch. Yeah, it's, uh, it's easier for 
to put the, when you take this out. Uh -huh. it's easier to get the to put the bag. Right here, and then you have wider space yeah, in here, right? Space, yeah. This has a wider space than this one, so you have more room to work. If you hear that I repeat some of the things Joe says, is because he talks kind of low because he's hearing impaired, and sometimes he doesn't want to like shout. Sometimes he feels like he's shouting, so he talks extra low. So what else? The thread. Was it easy to thread this one compared to this one? It's about the same. About the same. And do you think because you already learned how to thread this, that made it a lot easier to do this than if you were a newbie oh, to it? Oh yeah. All right. So Joe just told me that this thread can only sit here, what, horizontally? Mm -hmm. But on this one, the thread could also sit up here vertically. Mm -hmm. But you have to use these type of threads to sit on the machine. You can't use this kind like we would use on the console. But he uses this. You want to show that? You could use that, but you got to use this. This. And we got this from my mom. All right? Joe's mom says she just sets this on the table and it'll still work. It doesn't work for Joe. Can you give me that little piece over there, Joe? You can also set it on this little round disc thing here. Like this. And then it'll spin so you can get your thread. So, but, um, but if it's too heavy, the thread going to break. It's going to break? Yeah, okay. Because it's too, hot, it's too heavy. Mm -hmm. It's hard to pull, so the thread going to break sometimes. So you need a, a lighter roll. Right. All right, so this no, is... No, not a lighter roll. It's just so you got to put it a different kind of way. You got to put it in a way that it's moved freely. Okay. Yeah. So you can't even hear this one, okay? Now, is there anything else you want us to know before we close this review? Are you are you well pleased with this one so far? Yeah, I see a different. You know, this is something to make like. Um, see, it's got that little button here. Uh huh. I think it's to make like some kind of flowers and stuff when you sew. You just pop it this way. What I'm gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to come back and do another update on the sewing machine mm -hmm. in the very near future. It's not gonna be a review then. It's gonna be. You know, showing you guys what all the sewing machine can do because we're still learning it. Like I said, it's been a little bit more than 24 hours, but I just wanted to do a quick review and to just thank all of my viewers and uh, the people who donated to let us get this sewing machine. So, um, you want to end it for me, babe? Folks, I want to thank you guys for donating and thank, thank you very much because without you guys, this couldn't happen. So, thanks a lot. That's true. That's true. And God will bless you guys, remember. God will bless you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Alright guys, so we're putting this on a shelf. And it comes with this rubber cover thing here that tears is easily and doesn't wipe up. It doesn't wipe up easily, okay? The console also comes with the same thing, that machine. But Joe says we're gonna sew one for that. The new machine comes with something kind of like it's breathable, like the interfacer. And we're going to keep this out here, but we won't need to cover it, all right? So I just wanted to show you guys. And this you can carry.